Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. New prescription for a new you, America. On the rise right now in America is a condition called gout. And if you've never heard of gout, if you've never experienced gout, it is a form of arthritis called gouty arthritis. And it's where there's a buildup of uric acid crystals in the body. We see so much of that now. Disease, health challenges, as I like to call them, are on the rise. And a lot of the little ones that can be nagging more than anything, like gout, are coming on because of what we're, so many Americans really are dealing with, with obesity. Obesity being overweight. Overweight right now, the statistic is about 65% of Americans are overweight. 35% are obese, which means their obesity is contributing to their major health challenges. And gout, being a form of arthritis, is one of them. And it's really kicked in recently, they're saying this year. It's really what it is, a condition it forms when what we call uric acid crystals, byproducts of proteins, build up in the joints. And they're more common in men than women, but they can show up more, say, in the wrist, in the big toe, in the hip. They can show in different areas. It's now affecting about 8 million people, which is about 4% of the population. And the risk increases, of course, with age. It's an inflammatory arthritis formed by these uric acid crystals. And the pain's unbelievable. There's a warmness, a redness that comes into a joint and usually takes a while to subside. Several medications are out that can help them. But really, it's getting down to the preventative side. It's more of the prevention. You know, what are we doing with all of our health challenges on the front end? to make sure that we don't end up getting it. See, the problem is right now in America, what we do and the way our system is set up is we just go along living our life, eating the wrong kind of foods, inflammatory foods, just mind our own business, doing our own thing, and then all of a sudden, whoop, the body breaks down. We get sick. Blood pressure goes up. Go to the doctor. Diabetes, blood sugar, you start getting sick. You start getting weak. And so here you are. Now you're taking two medications. You're taking metformin. You're taking lisinopril. And you don't know how you had diabetes and high blood pressure. But you could could it be that it's because you've gained 40 pounds in the last three years, maybe. Could it be that you haven't exercised in the last five years because now you've got a desk job and you become so tired that all you can do is work all day, go home, eat, and sleep, and that's it. So you become sedentary, and now your body's not moving the way that it used to. Well, could it be? Whose fault is that? It's not anyone else's but yours. It is. We have to take responsibility for our own health. We don't want to hear that, really. That's not really the most pleasant message, but it's the truth. And so what we have to do is start making some radical shifts in the way that we live. But the study now that they've done is doing random blood works, of course, with different people. And it affects about 43 million adults right now in the U.S. There's medical evidence that indicates that gout is associated with metabolic syndrome, which is characterized by obesity, insulin resistance, high blood pressure, and blood fat issues, which can cause an increase of cholesterol, leading to heart attacks. So the researchers say the obesity epidemic and growing hypertension rates seem to be associated with increases of gout. And the research team examined data from the latest National Health and, and Nutrition Examination, surveying about 5,000 people. And the participants were asked about their history of gout, whether the condition had been diagnosed by their health care professional. And according to the data, about 1% to 3% had elevated uric acid levels, which is actually fairly high. And in 2008, 6% of the men, 2% of the women were diagnosed with gout. But the uric acid levels had increased about 20% over the last 10 years. So we've seen an increase. And they're saying it's on the rise. Here's the bottom line. Uric acid crystals are going to increase in the body when our bodies are not digesting and handling protein very well. So... Because we're eating so many processed foods, because we're eating so many foods that can't be broken down that well, we don't have enough enzymes in our food anymore. We definitely have a decrease of hydrochloric acid due to a lot of the stress that we're under in our daily lives. We're not breaking down our foods like we used to. We're only as good as the food we can digest, absorb, and assimilate. We're only as good as that. And so getting into a place where you can... Get your lifestyle in order. Get yourself into a place where you can function at a better level. You can digest your food better. You can make better food choices. 
you can drink more water, you can sleep better, you can start exercising more. Nothing is going to change until we change. And so, I mean, gout is just another condition, another health challenge that's, quote, unquote, on the rise because of our choices. Our lifestyle choices every single day, they determine our health. And nothing is going to change. Our rates of cancer, diabetes, heart disease, they're going to increase. And as the years go by, they're going to have these, all these crazy statistics that are saying, well, cancer's on the rise or gout's on the rise or arthritis is on the rise. Well, of course it's on the rise because our poor choices are on the rise. We're not educating ourselves on what it takes to be healthy. We're not educate, educating ourselves and making the, taking the responsibility. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong. The Internet will show you the hottest health tip of the day. AOL, Yahoo, Gmail, they'll all show you the latest tip of the day. Then, oh, that's nice. And, oh, broccoli helps cancer. And, oh, I should get my servings of fruits and vegetables. And, oh, here I go to the fast food place again today for lunch. Not making any choices, not making any changes. That's nice for people that want to be healthy. And, yeah, maybe I'll start eating some broccoli. And then all of a sudden you get a diagnosis of high blood pressure. You get a little dizzy at work. You stand up out of your chair, feel lightheaded, feel like you're going to fall down. You're 42. Your dad died at 48 of a heart attack. You got a wife. You have three kids. And now all of a sudden you've never taken a medicine in your life outside of an aspirin or ibuprofen. Now you stand up. You get dizzy. You think something's kind of weird. I better go to my doctor. You go to your doctor. Your blood pressure is 170 over 100. Doc puts you on medicine. Now you're on the roller coaster. Medicine gets it down, but that's not enough for you to change. No. Mm -mm. You can take a little pill and keep living like you were living. So another 10 years goes by. And in that 10 years, you've never made the change, never exercised. You've gained another 30 pounds. Cholesterol has been accumulating over a long period of time. You still eat poor foods, never made the choice, never made the change. Drop all the junk food and start eating well. If you start not being sedentary and start exercising, if you start sleeping better, if you start drinking more water, cut out the sodas, the coffees, and so much of the tea, your body will respond. And just because you've been diagnosed with three different health challenges doesn't mean that your body can't recover. If the body can get sick, it can get well. And I get sick and tired of seeing so many people suffer with their health. People that just don't know. And if they knew, they could thrive and live a great life. And that's what it's about on this show. So my challenge is that with obesity being the epidemic that it is, and people being overweight and people not changing their lives. It's about creating change, lasting change. Because if you change and make that decision that you want to get well, not only will you change your own health, but you can transform a generation in your family and their kids and the kids thereafter. Hi, it's Asa here. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Do you need a new prescription for your life? I have a special gift for all my listeners. I'm giving away a free copy of my international best-selling book to help you truly live your potential. All you have to do is cover the shipping and handling, and I will give you the book absolutely free. I want to invest in you and your health this year. So get your free copy of my book by visiting myfreehealthbook.com. That's myfreehealthbook.com, and let's get healthy together this year.